Hi hi, I'm Hexi, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to draw chibis. First of all, there is no a good or bad method to make chibis. I'll just show you mine, and I hope it can be useful to make your own chibi characters. Now let's begin! Before we draw, we have to understand why chibis are built like this, and what's the difference between realistic, anime, and chibi proportions. In realism, a human body is long around seven and a half or eight heads. And yeah, you can see I'm struggling a bit because I've been so used in drawing anime girls that I forgot how to draw real girls. Anime characters are long around six heads because compared to realistic characters, their head is bigger. So yeah, it's stylized. As you can notice, the neck is slimmer and some curves are exaggerated on purpose. Keep in mind that even if it's a stylization, it's still nice to follow some proportion and anatomy rules. And for example, uh, here the arm bone is longer than the forearm bone. And same thing for the thigh and the leg bones. The femur is the longest bone in our body, so don't be afraid to draw thighs very long. <laughs> now it's finally time for chibis, yay! I draw the whole chibi the size of two heads. Chibis look very weird if you stop a second and look at them. The heads are so huge. And then I draw the body a sort of a, a, a pier, a, a bean, a drop. I make the limbs around the same size of the body. And I still follow the anatomy proportions for arms and legs as well. Now let's see more in detail how to draw chibis. First of all, we draw two circles that are the equal of the two heads proportion. Then, we click this tool to make it of a different color and we make the opacity lower. We can right click on the ruler and click show in all layers so we don't have to put a ruler in all the layers we create and it will show up in all the new layers. So now, for the head, we have to draw a smaller circle and then a sort of um, smaller one, like a sausage, <laughs> kinda. Then two small circles at the sides that will be the ears. Of course, you can scale to your liking. I thought it was a bit too small, so I scaled it. Then a small square for the neck and two other small circles for the body. The top one must be smaller than the bottom one. Then. For the articles, I'm gonna draw small circles for the elbows as well, and the knees too, and for the hands and feet. So, this is kind of the, the skeleton of our chibi. We make it of another color as well, and lower the opacity. To draw the facial features, I draw two lines that are the same sizes of the ears. I make two squares that represent the space where I will draw the eyes. I do this kind of movement when I draw them. So here are the eyelashes and the irises. Then I draw very close to the eyes the mouth and the nose. We color this blue as well and lower the opacity. Now we are ready for the line art. Try to make it as round as possible. Please use references to draw the legs and the arms so you can see how they are shaped. I'm so bad at drawing hands. So, I'm gonna make two squares for the palms and then some lines for the fingers. Always look at references so you can see which fingers are the longest and the shortest. You can also look at your own hand. In the end, I decided to draw a happy mouth. For the hair, I make this sort of um, basic shapes and then I will start to draw them more in detail. Drawing the hair a bit on the top of the head will make them look a bit more fluffy. Now it's time to delete lines we don't need. I created a mask and erased them with an eraser. I do the same things with clothes, so I draw first the clothes in simple shapes and then I make them more detailed. Remember to draw the socks, uh, not with straight lines like this, but with a curved line so it gives like a 3D feeling. So I draw the ribbon first, the shirt, the skirt, the socks and the shoes. Ta-da! This is our chibi! If you wanna draw some animal features like, I don't know, cat ears and cat tail, use the same steps, like simple shapes first and 
and then you can go and draw the line art more detailed. I will make a drive folder with all these files so you can download them and practice. Please, if you use them, tag me so I can see them. But there aren't many chibi styles and they're all different. Uh, you can make their body longer, extra small, you can give them different legs and arms, and yeah, just have fun and adapt to your style. Personally, I love Nendoroid proportions. They're so cute. If you don't know Nendoroids, they're chibi style figures and there are so many characters available. Uh, they're all from anime, games, etc, etc. Uh, you can move and swap some body parts and create adorable poses. SAS! I'm starting a chibi illustration so you can see the progress from the beginning. I draw two circles of the same sizes. They should represent the little heads proportion. And then I draw the face and the pier body and make some cute dynamic pose. The character I'm drawing is a cute maid, so I'm drawing her holding a tray with some sweets and drinks. Make the head as round as possible. You don't want your chibis to have a pointy chin and look like this. So yeah, all face elements should be pretty round. I'll leave you with the speed paint of the chibi now. So see you later! Remember that these are not strict rules, and just have fun! If you have any tutorial requests, feel free to comment below! I'm open to suggestions! So yeah, bye bye, and see you on the next video!